Well, happy Friday, everyone. Uh, that's leftover spaghetti sauce mixed with ricotta cheese, penne pasta, topped with provolone, candied jalapenos, and Parmesan cheese. If you weren't hungry this morning, now you are. Happy Sunday. Boy, I need a haircut. I need to do something with this beard, too, but it's currently about, you'll see the camera shaking a little bit, it's about uh, 22 degrees outside on Sunday morning. <coughs> it's a great Sunday. You want to know why it's a great Sunday? Number one, I'm getting a load of firewood, which sucks because then i got to stack it, but that'll keep us warm. And number two, NASCAR is back today at the uh, Los Angeles Coliseum. I'm excited to see that. Um, Hopefully the uh, speed of my internet doesn't frustrate me to the point where I'm trying to watch it. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I'll uh, check back with you when, uh, well, whatever it is I do next. It's been a rather uneventful weekend because uh, it's been cold, cold, cold. Uh, they canceled school Friday because there was potential for flooding and uh, snowing and freezing rain. And then uh, I don't think it even got 30 degrees yesterday. Uh, it's going to get up into the 40s today and then almost 50 degrees tomorrow, so I'll be more productive when it's 20 degrees outside. i got no more outside time in me other than uh, feeding the goats and, and uh, stacking firewood. Like, I turn into a hermit on the, crowd, on the couch. Um, I don't do 12 degrees outside. But uh, anyway, check back with you in a bit. What are you doing at 3 a.m. on a Monday? Happy Monday. You might ask, uh, what are you doing driving the Subaru on a weekday? Well, because the wife's driving the truck. Um, that would be interesting for... Uh, now, number one, I'm going down to Kentucky, um, and this car gets about 15 miles of the gallon better than the uh, black truck. However, if you look behind me, I'm surrounded by dumpsters. This is where you uh, take your garbage. Um, I just saw something that I never thought I would ever see in a million years. I saw Midnight women dumpster diving. You might ask, what's a Midnight? They look like Amish people, but they got cell phones and cars. Anyway, <laughs> dumpster diving med nights. Now, this to be absolutely comical. These are popping up everywhere. <clears throat> I don't care which side of the line you're on, that's fine. And yeah. So I figured it's a nice day. I'm gonna be out here anyway. I got, I got to figure out what I'm doing. I thought I was gonna try to bring that across. Doesn't look like that. I'm just gonna refence this particular area. Um, but I let her out. Boy, oh boy, as you can see, these guys are freaking out. I don't know if I'm gonna get this fence accomplished today or if I'm gonna stand here and just kind of assess what it is I have in relation to uh, what needs to be done. Um, yeah, if I had it to do over, I wouldn't have bought this fence. This fence sucks. It's a pain in the ass to work with, but I've got it now. Plus, I got a whole other roll right there that hasn't been used. But uh, I figured I was going to be out here. I'd uh, let her out and let her snack for a while. So I'm not entirely sure you've been, uh, any of you have been following what's going on here. I got 30 minutes into this three-hour podcast. <clears throat> you see a little uh, circle with the line over the play button? It won't let me play it. It kicked me out like it stopped playing. <laughs> And that won't let me play it. This is the equivalent of burning books, folks. Your freedoms are gone. All right. Well, it's currently about oh, 12.30 on Wednesday. Um, the handyman that I have been 
how do I put this, um, very patiently waiting for him to get over the shit that's going on in his own life, uh, who finally committed uh, to coming today. Oh, I don't feel well. I'm going to get a COVID test. How many times I've been exposed to that shit? How many times my wife has been exposed to that and brought it home and we've gotten sick? Not worried about it, dude. I've been waiting on you since before Christmas. And you flake out on me again. So that's the guy that was going to help me jack up the house. Um, <laughs> so then I put up an ad, uh, you know, if looking for somebody who will actually show up, who wants to uh, actually work for some money. And I almost immediately got two responses to which I immediately replied, and then they don't reply or even read that I, you know, and, and it wasn't like a, they hit the button, is this uh, still available, right? No, it was a, a message <laughs> saying, hey man, you still need some help with your floors, and then nothing. Um, <laughs> somebody coming uh, now, uh, three hours late, uh, to look at uh, that, uh, still trying to get that. I, I can't afford to buy a piece of equipment to uh, clear that out, and uh, I figured if I let it sit for a while and get a little crispy, that it uh, uh, it might be a little easier to work with. Absolutely not. Um, the the vines that are over there are are stronger than any rope I've ever owned, and I've owned some expensive ropes. Um, so I'm trying to get some sort of an estimate from him on that, so that I can start. Uh, uh, either looking for a rototiller or uh, turning that dirt over by hand because um, I'm not going to let the growing season it's it's going to be the second week in May before anything goes in the ground I'm going to start little things in the house um, I'm going to start tomatoes and peppers in the house um, well I ordered seeds last night from uh, I believe it was called Haas Tool H-O-S-S-T-O-O-L um, if I'm not mistaken was the name uh, they're a, a tool company out of Georgia but they also sell gardening supplies and I ordered a whole bunch of different uh, heirloom varieties of, uh, uh, of different peppers and like uh, green zebra tomatoes and uh, uh, candy corn and, and things of the sort that uh, as soon as those seeds get here, I'm going to start working on uh, getting those growing inside of the house um, and figure out a, a bigger growing light than what I currently have. Um, but I'm going to start working on those in the house soon. Um, but it'll be the second week in May before anything uh, anything goes into the ground. So I've got some time, but I'm not going to let the season get ahead of me. Um, I want to have enough to uh, so that uh, you know m m my mother can come over with a basket and uh, you know pick a, a week's worth of vegetables and take them home, and I won't even notice because we'll have so much. And so that I can uh, can 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 uh, you know tomatoes and corn, and I've got. Uh, some varieties of ancient bean seeds. Um, I have a whole bag full of seeds. <clears throat> excuse me, that I uh, I saved from uh, things that I uh, either grew last year or uh, like tomatoes from the uh, Amish market. I saved seeds from those. Um, I saved some uh, some some green bean seeds, bunch of stuff. So um, I'm hoping to go full blast and. Uh, it, you know the videos will be better when I'm actually doing that kind of stuff. I've been working on that goat fence today I'll take you back out there after this guy gets here the uh, Wi-Fi doesn't pick up that far out, so I can't uh... Anyway when I go out there, I don't, I don't have my phone with me and this guy might be trying to get a hold of me, so uh, I'll take you back out there and show you that and the reason I did that is that I need to separate these animals sooner than later um, and wait for uh, brownie to go back in heat and then throw her back in there with banana and uh, Hope that they get the deed done, and then I just need to get rid of that goat because he's an asshole. Um, <clears throat> he's beaten up on the other two. I mean, he, he's aggressive about food like I never feed them. And I feed them at least twice, if not three times a day. In addition to there's always a bale of hay inside of their house for them to eat. They're not hungry. He's just an asshole of a goat. So as soon as she gets pregnant, I'm going to get rid of him to uh, whoever's got 50 or 100 bucks. Because um, I've been working with that guy for six months now, and I still... I can't get within five feet of him without him running away, and he's beating up on the other goats. And I mean, I'm out there every day petting on the other two. You'd think he'd get it, but nope. Nope, 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 nope. So he's going to be gone uh, as soon as I uh, get that accomplished. So I'll check back with you uh, after this guy gets here, 
and see what he says and then we'll walk out there and we'll see uh, the new goat yard I still have to uh, well not new the uh, it's a revamped version of what was already there but it's a little bit bigger and it's put together better now that I know how to work with that shitty fence that uh, and it isn't that it's shitty fence because it doesn't break and fall apart it's just a pain in the ass to work with and I don't film myself doing that because you think if I swear now whoa just wait so you see me working on that shit Might ask yourself what that annoying sound is. The wife's bras. And yes, the washer is still running. <clears throat> Here's coffee three ways. Espresso, chock full of nuts, percolator full of that can of espresso. Just in case you need to get your ass in gear in the morning, we got the coffee on lock. Other than the fact that I've got shit wood, I don't have the first fucking clue why this is happening. Uh, got the door open and the fan on, but, like, this is... This is fucking ridiculous, man. Fucking ridiculous. I paid somebody to install this shit, and this is what I fucking get? Welcome to goddamn Lee County. I, I don't have the first fucking clue what I'm supposed to do about this. Check the chimney, the cap's on it, it's billowing smoke on the outside, and guess what? It's billowing smoke inside of my house, too. Thanks, Bill. Not Bill Angel, Bill Reynolds. Thanks, Bill. I don't have the first clue other than everything is wide open, and it's just drafting into the house. So once this fire burns out, it looks like we're going to be cold for, I don't know, the next 10 weeks. Because this is not acceptable. Nothing has changed other than the fire has just decided to vent itself through the house. So it's a good thing I spent uh, like $1,400 on stovepipe uh, to go out the wall uh, so that the fire could just vent in the house. I'm fucking over this shit. I'm at the point where I was the other day. You want to buy this place? Tell you what. Give it to you real cheap. What's a single wide in a trailer park cost? I would gladly go live in a single wide with some fucking HVAC and be a fucking trailer trash piece of shit rather than go deal with this. Fuck the stove. Yeah. My whole house is a carbon monoxide but it has it right now. And so this begins, even though I don't know what the fuck's going on with my chimney. There's the before. Pretty soon there'll be an after.
That right there, my friends, is going to be one hell of a fucking garden. One hell of a fucking garden. Just like that, I got that entire hillside cleared uh, for garden. Um, got to head, to head to town to look for a, a chimney sweeper uh, currently, but uh, that's going to be one hell of a fucking garden in the spring. Hot damn, I can't wait. So I went to town and I bought a chimney brush. I'm currently covered in what I cleaned out of the chimney, uh, but you can see it's properly venting again. It's 
Been a process. Can't see it in my face. You probably need to get your eyes checked out. Um, tired, man. Been up since the middle of the night. But I gotta wrap this video up somehow. Um, got that hillside cleared. Uh, which is good. Gonna plant my garden there. Got a lot of a lot of seeds in the mail. Um, got the stove back functioning. I'm working on uh, building a fire because uh, although it was uh, nearly 60 degrees today, it is uh, still gonna be like 31 tonight, something like that. It's gonna be cold. Need a fire, so. I'm going to wrap this one up here. Um, look, I have a lazy eye. Let's see, that right there, that's how you can tell I'm getting a migraine. Um, I don't have anything for this migraine. Might be a rough couple of days. There might not be a video next week, depending on how bad the uh, migraine gets. But uh, when this eye starts looking like that in relation to this one is how you can tell I'm getting a migraine. Um, just ran into my wife's coworker in town. Started talking shit to me about my wife. like, And I hope it doesn't end up with my uh, wife getting fired from her job because I, I, I told the woman she was a cunt. And it takes a lot to uh, get me to tell you something like that. Anyway, I'd say like, share, and subscribe, but uh, it's just the uh, 240 of you that are here uh, that are watching this. So thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully there's a video next week. Uh, I might actually lose two, three, four days, uh, depending on how bad the uh, headache that I currently have gets. Anyway, that's it for now, fuckers.